pro day. Um, you know, we had lunch yesterday with these guys, and it, you know, it's like senior day, and then all of a sudden pro day. It's like these two last days, that last game they get to play at home. And obviously, that bowl game, there's those goodbyes. And, and this truly is that last time that you really get to watch these guys compete, the last time they get to come in the indoor. They wear that pit gear. They'll all have a different logo uh, on their shirts the next time we get to see them. Um, or they'll be in the real world, one or the other, uh, with a real job. But uh, I think our kids showed out real well today. We have a lot of teams represented here, I think 30 or 29 or 30 teams here uh, representing the NFL. And, and uh, kids did a nice job. Questions? What does it mean to your program to have players have success at the next level? That means everything. I mean, I think that's, you know, I think when you look at, you know, the recruiting aspect, people want to see what's going on in pro day. They want to see if you have guys going on. Again, I don't care if it's guys going on the NFL drafted or guys that are free agents. They want to see guys have success at the next level. And, uh, you know, it's no different than a, a high school kid on scholarship or a high school kid that's a walk-on like a George Aston or a Sean Ido who that comes in now has a chance to now maybe be a free agent or be a, you know, a drafted player in the NFL. So I think it's all the same. But, um, you know, it's awful important to have guys that are playing at the next level. Darren didn't get to go to the combine, but he finally got to show him show off today. I mean, how do you think he did? I think Darren Hall had a great day. Um, and I think he should have been a guy at the combine. I don't make those decisions, but uh, there's a few guys I think should have been at the combine. But uh, Darren Hall is, is a, an exceptional back. He's got great ball skills. He can run. Um, you know, and there's some scouts out here today thought he was a faster back. So it's you know, it's you know, what are you looking for? So I think he's a he's a guy that's gonna you know have fun in April. I was gonna say that after a season when you you know win the Coastal and play in the ACC championship game and physically beat up some teams the way you did, were you surprised you didn't get more guys invited out to Indy? No, it's a blue collar pit, blue collar Pittsburgh, I guess. I mean, um, you know, I think it's a it's a it's a statement about where we are and what we do and how we do here in Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's one thing to you know to have some guys drafted. I've seen a lot of guys that you know maybe aren't the championship game. We've got a lot of guys at the combine. We're one of those teams that doesn't have many guys, and we you know. It's the same thing happened to the last place I was at for a while. Uh, never had many guys at the combine, but just won a lot of football games with your guys. So you know, we're going to develop our guys when they come out of high school. And we're going to hopefully get them to that next level one way or another, whether it's a free agent or drafted. How instrumental was it for the senior class to help you build your team and your culture? Um, you know, every, every player that's ever walked in the door <laughs> walked out the door is important. That yeah. matters for one year or four years. Um, and again, we've had the one and four season guys. So. Uh, it's important for every guy to come in and help change our culture. And every one of these guys had a you know a bigger uh, piece of that compared to last year and, and the year before. But uh, these, these guys have put in a lot of work, and and you know, like I said, we broke down a lot of times at ACC champions out here, and uh, we haven't gotten that yet. But you know, we got there this year, and it's because of these senior classes. Is there anyone out there today who surprised you at all with their numbers, where you're like, hey, where was that the last four or five years to help us? You know what? <laughs> Um, no, there's nobody surprised me the numbers, but and I didn't really look at the numbers. You know, someone will give me a piece of paper here in about an hour and say, oh, "Here's what it is." You know, I had a chance during the forty to sit down, you know, with some of those uh, scouts at the at the uh, the stands over there um, and sit with Phil Anarello, which is uh, Darren Hall's high school coach, was here today, which was awesome for him to come um, today. Uh, so sitting in with him and getting a few of the times, but nothing surprised me as far as forties, as far as what they did. Okay. Uh, maybe there were some slower ones. Some guys get tight and nervous, uh, you know, even when you're running your own facility. But you know, nothing really surprised me as far as you know anything I heard so far today. But we'll see the numbers. Folston almost jumped out of the indoor, right? He's yeah, that doesn't surprise me. He's a great athlete. I mean, 40 inches, you know, almost what 10 nine? Did someone say you know his, his long jump? Yeah. I mean, he almost jumped five yards, whatever that is. Uh, that's a, it's you know, uh, what five times three? Is that what it is? I mean, that's a, that's a, um, that's a jump. So. How did uh, Darren do in the 40, do you know? You know, both those, I think, you know, Quadri and him both ran in the four fives, you know, low four fives, I'd mm -hmm. say. Um, again, I don't have the exact numbers, but, and again, they all got to watch it. They don't tell anybody. They kind of, you know, so I had, I, there was a Palco, you know, was kind of pointing his watch at me every time. So <laughs> thank Coach Palco for that. Pat, what was it like having, you know, Ryan Shazier out there, James Conner coming back, these former players, and then Steeler players, Steeler staff yeah. out here helping? Yeah. It's awesome, and you know, uh, Juan Price was out here, Lafayette Pitts was out here as well, and you know, with the ones you mentioned, it's awesome to have those guys come back and they care about their brothers, and that's a that's the type of family atmosphere we have here. Those guys are coming back to watch, and James could have been doing a lot of things. You know, he's out here. He waited till the end to watch his running backs go, and I think that's that's impressive. And, you know, and you know, that's kind of who those kids are. That's why they've been so successful. Clutter said Pitt is running back. You is that something that you can specifically kind of sell as a the calling card of this program is that, you know, 
you can stack up the, the pro running backs that have come out of this program with just about anybody. No doubt about it. I mean, you want that every position to be that way. But if I'm a running back, it's running back you. If I'm a, you know, if I'm a safety, it's safety you. Um, but I think that tradition gets continually built every year based on the production of those, you know, those positions. So, um, you know, Darren Hall and Quadri Olson certainly did a lot to, you know, to, you know, I guess push that button as far as, you know, RBU. Anything else?